Today I'm going to be going over how to get rid of the next and previous posts on your single posts of a WordPress site. So uh, let's find a post where you can see this in full action. As you can see, here's my post, and it has these at the top of them, the previous post and the next post. I'm, uh, I'm not sure where some of these theme creators thought this was um, awesome for users, but I don't really feel it is. I would say that if the content was related by category or tags, it would be much of a better deal. And as you can see on this theme, it is also at the bottom. So uh, I'm going to show you how to get rid of this. And to do that, what you're going to do is you're going to go in your WordPress admin, you're going to go to the editor under appearance, and we're going to look for the single dot PHP for the single post page. It's usually at the bottom. Style sheet dots uh, here. I'm gonna have to search for this one. Single dot PHP. Here it is. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go into this PHP and I'm gonna look for just uh, something that looks like the next and previous code. I'm not I'm not a coder, so don't get me wrong here. Okay, what's this here? Next and previous. This, I'm going to get rid of this. First of all, I'm going to copy and paste it just to make sure that if I if I need to put it back in, I have it copied. Let's see what that does after I save it. Uh, that did nothing. Scary. Let's try this one. Previous and next post. And I can see that the this code right here opens and closes this so I know it's together, this div file, or the div code. So I'm going to copy this and delete it. Let's see if that did it. Save it. Refresh. That did it, so sweet. But I still have it on the bottom, so I want to go back, go to the bottom of... Aha, here it is, the same code. Previous post link, next post link. So I'm going to highlight that copy it just in case I run into trouble delete it see if that did it refresh and that did it so awesome so hopefully that helps you I know a lot of themes have that built into their PHP and I absolutely hate it so and sometimes you might have to go into the categories PHP to remove it if it shows up on category pages most of the time it doesn't but yeah, so let's, uh, yeah, that should answer that. Um, awesome. All right, guys, thanks.